Hey everybody, it's Christine. Welcome to my channel. Today I have another video for you using Doodlebug Designs So Much Pun collection. I am guest designing for them with this collection and have had an absolute blast. And I'm gonna tell you, today's layout is actually my favorite of the lot. And I created several that I really like, but this one, just, I just love it. <laughs> So with that said, let's dive in. First thing I'm doing is just cutting out the center of some papers so that I can make use of more of them. Um, I wanted to make the collection stretch because I really enjoyed it. And so all I'm doing is just going to an approximate location. I'm not worrying about if I'm perfectly centered or anything. And I'm just gonna layer the papers all together. So that just saves me a little bit of paper to use for something else, another layout or a card or something, um, whatever I want. So you can see I'm using this really nice yellow ledger paper for the background. The color of it is just perfection. I love that shade. And so I was really happy um, to use that. I always love to be able to use yellow. So you just can't go wrong there. And then I use that dotted paper it's very colorful. And then in the middle, I added this paper that looks like a dictionary page that has different puns on it. Now, I am going to do some pictures of one of my sons, um, bright, colorful pictures of him out at the pool. And I am going to layer a cut apart card in there with them. This one comes from one of the patterned papers and I just loved the otter puns in this collection, so I couldn't resist using them. So uh, I thought, you know, with the pool pictures, it's still got that water theme going, and so I incorporated them. This one in particular says, I otterly adore you, and I just, it's so cute. You know, I always enjoy watching otters at the zoo, so do my kids, because they're just a fun animal. Um, and so it was really fun to have them included. It was just something different um, that I could use from a lot of the traditional animals that we see in scrapbooking collections. I think that was part of what pulled me to it. And you saw with my, or if you haven't seen yet, my pretzel layout, I was kind of drawn to some of the more unique elements within this collection. I liked the way that they could capture some different parts of everyday life. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is just use some scrap paper and cut out a big heart. Now, what in the world am I doing here? Well, as I was looking at this, I decided I wanted to add some stitching. So, what I'm gonna do is use this heart as my template and I'm gonna go around and just pierce some holes and then I'm gonna add a giant stitched heart all the way around this layout. I love to stitch, that's no secret. Um, I don't always have time to stitch, uh, but I do love to do it when I can and when I know I have the time, and especially when I know it's really gonna enhance or make the layout unique. Um, that's something that's important to me is that my layouts have a unique feel to them, that it's obvious it's one of my layouts and it doesn't look like a whole bunch of other people's. Um, and so stitching is one of the ways that I am able to achieve that look. And so I very often will go that direction, time permitting, as I said. Um, but it's, it's not abnormal at all to see stitching on at least 50% of my layouts. Now you can see I'm not measuring at all how I'm poking my holes. I'm just going around and eyeballing it to about every quarter inch or so. Um, there, there's no need to be exact when you're doing just a back stitch. It's all gonna come together just fine. Um, occasionally I'll use a stitching template or use my electronic cutting machine to take care of that part for me, but not very often. And then what I'll do is I'll take this off camera and I will do my stitching while I watch a movie. Um, <laughs> No need to uh, make use of it here for an hour while I do that, or whatever, uh, maybe not an hour. But um, I just turn on a movie and watch it while I do that, and then I come back and carry on. Now I'm gonna start the embellishing part. Because I've got some pretty busy papers in the background, and I've got the stitching, I'm gonna keep my embellishing to a minimal today. I'm gonna add this cute little otter on there, because, I mean, I have to. <laughs> I'm also going to add that sunshine and these all come from the odds and ends um, from the icons die cut set and then I'm also going to add on the otterly adorable for my title down there and that just comes from the chit chat die cut cardstock pieces 
Um, and then I'm going to keep it pretty simple for the rest of it. So you can see this is different from um, a lot of the layouts that I do. Actually, it's it's got very little to it, but still is pretty effective because of the colors and the patterns that it's got going on, the stitching, um, and the uniqueness of it, I think. You can see I'm also adding on, and I, this, this is one thing that jumped out at me. I wanted to add a heart to the otters because it really looked like they should be holding a heart, didn't it? Um, if you look at them up close, they just look like they're supposed to be holding a heart or maybe a ball, but they look like they're supposed to be holding something. And so I couldn't resist adding some cute heart stickers onto there um, to make it <laughs> to up the cute factor. Finally, I'm going to add on a few more hearts. I'm going to add that little brown border detail up there just to bring in a little bit more brown to the whole thing. And I'm going to add on some sprinkles, just some of the green ones that come with this collection um, to just a few places in my stitching to kind of highlight the heart a little bit more. And there you have it. Very basic simple layout that packs a punch because of great products, great colors, great, fun, cute, adorable stickers, and you know, the kid in the picture is not so bad himself, is he? So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, be sure to check out my other videos here on the channel. Hit subscribe if you've enjoyed it, and I will be back again very soon with some more videos for you. Thanks so much. Have a great day.